Hey there, welcome to another technical analysis tool discussion. This video's topic is the relative strength index known as the RSI. Its elegance is in the simplicity of its mathematical foundation. By focusing on the average gain during up periods and the average loss during down periods, the RSI calculates what is essentially the market's pulse, capturing momentum in a quantifiable form. You can think of RSI as measuring the strength of a boxer's punches, gains, versus their opponents, losses, showing not just who's winning, but also the energy behind each move. When the RSI formula delivers a result above 70, it often signals that the market has thrown too many punches, reflecting a possible overbought condition where the market might be primed for a pullback. Conversely, readings below 30 suggest that the market has absorbed many hits, pointing to an oversold condition and perhaps an opportunity for a rebound. The midpoint at 50 serves as a neutral ground, indicating a balance between buyers and sellers. The RSI is best utilized within the broader orchestra of technical indicators. It works beautifully with the moving average convergence divergence, which serves as a compass alongside RSI's thermometer-like role. While RSI gauges the intensity of market moves, provides direction, highlighting which way the market may be leaning, and the strength of that trend. This dynamic duo enhances trading strategies. As trend direction serves as a guiding map and RSI pinpoints strategic entry and exit points. When both shows upward momentum and RSI rises from an oversold position, the signal is notably strong, increasing confidence in the market's next likely move. John Murphy, a leading technical analyst, echoed this sentiment. Combining indicators that complement each other provides a more complete picture of the market, a strategy that maximizes reliability in market analysis. A quick aside, we hope you find this useful enough to like and subscribe to the channel. Thanks. Now, can we leverage RSI against other indicators? We can add depth to this discussion. The stochastic oscillator offers a complementary view, acting almost as a cousin to RSI. While RSI assesses momentum through the velocity of price changes, Stochastics focuses on price relative to its recent range, which can provide a different but equally valuable perspective. When both RSI and Stochastic Oscillators confirm similar conditions, it's akin to receiving a second opinion that reinforces the initial analysis. In practical application, these indicators together can orchestrate a robust strategy then leverage MACD for confirming trend direction. RSI and stochastics can then serve to fine-tune entry and exit points. For instance, imagine a stock trending upward, MACD signaling positive momentum, RSI dipping near the 35 level, approaching oversold territory, and stochastics echoing oversold conditions. This alignment paints a promising scenario for a buying opportunity reinforcing the importance of an all-encompassing approach to technical analysis. However, caution and discipline risk management are vital. Relying on any single indicator alone, even RSI, can lead to misinterpretation. Think of technical analysis as a legal case, where one piece of evidence does not make a full case. Rather, multiple confirming indicators create a stronger foundation. Beyond the numbers, the broader market context adds a layer of circumstantial evidence, aligning indicators with overarching trends. Common pitfalls include over-relying on one tool, ignoring the broader trend, misaligning timeframes, and failing to set stop-loss orders. As the renowned trader Marty Schwartz advised, technical analysis is a skill that improves with experience and study. Always be mindful of the broader market context. RSI also lends itself to advanced techniques that can be immensely revealing in trend analysis. Divergence trading, one of RSI's strengths, identifies potential trend reversals by highlighting discrepancies between price movements and RSI values. When price makes new highs but RSI fails to do so, bearish divergence, it often hints at an impending market reversal. Conversely, bullish divergence, where prices make lower lows but RSI does not, suggests a potential upward reversal. RSI's sensitivity to divergence can often precede visible trend changes, making it a powerful early warning system. The key isn't in finding a perfect indicator, but in understanding how RSI 
MACD stochastics collectively narrate the market story, helping traders see the complete picture. We hope this is a helpful discussion and contributes to your successful investing. Please check out our other videos on technical analysis, and we hope you'll subscribe and like us to stay informed about when new videos are posted. Thank you.